Okay, so we have discussed in our previous session the operator's decision making statements and even loop statements. Among those loop statements, one of the concept now we have to discuss, which is for each loop. Then after that, control statements. Okay. So we have discussed for loop then y and as well true y. Then now, for each, let's write here, okay, already we have it, right? do it, then For each. So what is the concept of for each? To work with the concept of for each, it requires to understand about arrays concept also. Okay, but anyway, let me just write a syntax for time being for each of A temporary variable, something, it can be anything, we are writing here, array, as value, and writing the code. So, okay, let's keep it like this. What is it? Comment, because we did not even touch with the concept of array. So once we get a clarity about of an array, then it would be great to have a clear understanding about for each. Okay, now let's move to the control statements. Control statements, what are those control statements? Continue and break. So these two things, the break statement and as well control statement. So let's discuss about first with the break statement. The break is a keyword. It is used to Terminate the execution of loop. It will just come out of that loop. Okay. Let's write a sample example to understand. So I'm just declaring the variable i with a value 0 and writing the while condition inside this while condition dollar i less than 10 and inside this block i am just increasing or incrementing the value of i so okay you can just echo 
the value of i dollar i. This will print as it is what we have expected one by one the incrementing operator. So let's do one thing. Let's run a code. Make it. What is that you are at? So local host and then refer to the project folder or the things to the what we are doing, uh, discussing. So we are just opening now control statements, right? We are able to see all the items, the value of i from 1 to 10, it's 20. So okay, now inside the while condition, we can also have uh, a condition that is decision making condition also. So let's write here if dollar i double equals to three, as it is a single line statement. So we can also write like this simply. So now what happens when i reaches to the value three? And it is matching, right? It is just coming out of that block. So as it is coming out of that block, no point of any rest of the statements. That's called a concept, which is break concept. So when you have a requirement, once the condition matches and it should not be no longer exudes, then you can just use break statement. Then let's discuss the same way the continue statement. So the what is the concept and what is the difference between break statement and continue statement? Continue is also one of the keyword and it is used to halt the current iteration for the loop, but it does not terminate the loop. It's not going to stop the execution of the particular block. It just going to skip that particular statement we can say. So let's write here a sample example. Same thing that you can use. Then instead of writing a break statement, let's write Continue keyword. Right, if you observe one, two, three skipped, and then four, five, so on, so on. That is the difference between what is it? Continue and break statement concept. So these are the two control statements that we have in PHP. Okay, now let's discuss the concept of 
arrays in PHP. What is an array and how it works? Holding some set of items. Of course, it can be same data type values or else different data type values, but you can hold some set of items under one variable. So let's write here. Arrays dot PHP. So an array is a data structure that stores one or more similar or different types of data or values in a single variable. Let's write. And okay, let me write here an array is a data structure that store one or more similar or different types of values in a single value. Of course, it's not a single value, single variable that we can see. Then, notice for example, if you want to save 100 values, 100 users information, that is user information, it will be lengthy. User names or else something else like this. Not only 100, it can be anything. And <coughs> there are different types of arrays. So what are those? There are three types of or three kinds of arrays. And each array value is accessed each array value is accessed using an id or else you can say its position which is called an index also, which is called an index. So what are those three types of, or three kinds of an arrays? Numeric array, Whereas associative array and we can also say the other one which is multi-dimensional array. So the numerical or numeric array it's clearly saying that an array with the, let's write, an array with a numeric value. And values are stored values are stored and 
एक्सस्ट इन ए लिडी एक्सस्ट इन ए लीनियर फैशन दैट इज कंटिन्यूस देन द सेकंड वन एसोसिएटिव अरे एंड अरे विथ स्ट्रिंग्स एस इंडेक्स दिस स्टोर्स एलिमेंट वैल्यूज इन असोसिएटिव और यू कैन से असोसिएशन विथ key values rather than rather in a strict index order the meaning of this one is the above one it's totally working with an indexing with a numerical index that is simply to understand we can say it starts from 0 so it will move from 1 to there is 0 1 2 3 so on whereas the associative array you can write your own key that is instead of going with the default 0 1 2 3 something you can have name email password this kind of a group of string related things that you can write as a keys and its values then multi dimensional array so an array containing one or more containing one or more arrays and values or accessed using multiple indices so these are the three different things and there are some building functions also that is in terms of array functions so uh are built in functions but let we will discuss after getting a clarity about these points so now first let's discuss the concept of numerical or numeric array concept so i said these arrays can store numbers strings or any object but their index will be represented by numbers so example let's write a variable dollar numbers and that equals to array is a built in function inside this array built in function you can have the group of values separated by comma like this it's your wish that you can have any type of sorry any value and all the values that needs to be separated by comma and it will understand the php parser that you have declared an array variable so this is how that you can save first then yes you can also go with a normal loop like for loop also and as well for each so okay let's even write first with a normal loop that is general way for dollar i that equals to 0 that's we are initializing the value of i then 
we are checking. So five items, right? So we can just write five. And I plus plus. So inside this, the value of an I dollar I. So, okay, if you just write value of an I, what it will be? It will print 0, 1, 2, 3. That is not our concept, right? We have planned to see a value which is in array. So, okay, let's do one thing here. Let's keep just comment for timing this one. Simply write first statement echo the items we can also say items items or elements or values of an array what is that dollar numbers You are just printing all the items. Let's see. Right, an array is a string conversion. And the items or elements or values of an array is array. It is showing in array data type format. It's not extracting the items. The same thing when you just done with the JavaScript, it's printed. But of course, it's not a point of comparison for each and every time as we have discussed. So when the topic comes, we are just recapping the previous points what we have discussed. So here, when you write arrays, sorry, when you write a variable which is an array, it is just displaying all the items. Sorry, it is just displaying a data type of this variable. But how to access, right? As we have discussed, these arrays refers with an index. What is an index? An index is a unique number which starts from 0 and n minus 1. So each and every value is located with its indexing number which is starting from 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's why we say it's n minus 1. So how to access? You can just write array variable name of, for example, two. So what will be the output? Expecting, so zero position, one position, in two position, so we are expecting the value, which is three, is it? Right. So likewise that you can just extract what are the items that you want? But we can't write for each and every time array variable name of zero, array variable name of one, array variable name of two. Like this, right? And as of now, we have only five items. Okay, we can write. But when you are working with a larger application, a group of records, you can't even write like so. That's why it's better to go with the, sorry, it's better to go with the loop concept. So the same thing here, here, of course, no, not the value of an i. The value of an array, which is numbers, 
So above statement here, we have given a hard code value. That is a manual two or three or four something else. But whereas here, we are going to write the variable that is array variable of dollar i. So as that dollar i is going to be changed for each and every time, like 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, so on. So you will be getting the same. You can also just even write here numbers of dollar i. That means numbers of 0, what is the value? Numbers of 1, what is the value? Like this. Let's see. Right. We are now able to see clearly in the 0 position, the value 1, in the 1 position, the value 2, and so on. The values are totally your wish that you can just write, not only just simply writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can write even a negative number also, even a decimal point like this. So it's your wish and depends upon the position that will be represented. So in the zero position 23, the one position 87 and so on, so on. So the same thing that you can also write, but this time here, as of now, we have an idea that we have given five items that okay, that we have written a condition less than five. But if the array variable, as we have an option of a variable in PHP, can have an option of updating its value or values, right? So later, if you update it to 10 numbers or later six numbers or six values or four, four items, something it's varying, then how can you fix that only five items? So you can have here a built-in function, which is count, count of, that array variable name, which we have. So let's just see, check here, echo the number of items, dollar, okay. Count or else length. Okay, let me just write first the number of items. But when you are writing count, okay, let's write count of numbers here. Let's check it out. That's not what an array to string conversion. Okay, so it's not accepting that thing. So Let's do what? Let's just come out of that one. Okay. The dot symbol is, is a concatenation in PHP. Right. So a count is a built-in function that is not accepted within the string. You just have to come out of that string. So and now you are able to find there are five items. So here, as it is given, five items, the count of five. Now you can just maybe reduce or else increase. Depends upon the values that we have given here, that will be referred. So first thing that we have discussed, how to display an individual item or a value of a particular array variable. Second thing we have, understand how many items that are given to that particular array variable. Third, we are extracting that group of items individually with a loop concept, with for loop just a normal for loop. Then a part of these things, now you can also even write yes for each concept also. So let's write here for each. Then, okay, you can, uh, what is that variable name? 
you need to write a variable name. Variable name that is as. What is that? Variable name? Numbers. As value. It's not a mandatory that you have to write value. It's your choice, but it's referring value by value. Then Let's write here and I go the item of numbers dollar value. Right, you are able to see. So now it's what is the difference means here? In a standard loop concept, you need to check it out that number of items. But here in a for each, you don't need to worry. It can be maybe 10 or 20 or 100 or varying for each and every time, no worries. It is just going to refer all the items from that all the items referring or extracting one by one. That is one way, that is how. And line number 14 is one of the way that you can declare an array with a group of items and using a built-in method which is an array with all the items at a time that is you are initializing the array items at the time of declaring itself then the another way that you can just go another way of declaring the array variable you can also make it okay this time let me make it just numbers or simply go with nums 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 of zero or make it here nums and that equals to an array with an empty initially you have just declared nums as an array variable okay nums as an array variable with the empty there is no items inside that second now later after declaring you can whenever it is required to have a value with that you can just write nums of zero it's your choice i'm just writing here something one nums of 1 and that equals to 2 nums of 2 that equals to 3 like this you can have a group of items whenever it is required you can just declare so you can just assign a value to its position same thing so for each of dollar nums as value and echo t item or as a value of nums yeah, right here dollar value right then this is how it works with the what is it numeric arrays concept then now let's discuss about the concept of an associative arrays concept. So what is an associative array? It is also same or similar to numerical or numeric arrays. And what is the difference? 
the difference here is when it comes to numeric arrays we are having the indexes with an in uh, integers that is and it starts from 0 to n minus 1 but whereas in associative arrays that we can have an indexing as a string it is whatever that we have planned we have planned in an array a name and its value whereas username and its value password and its value like this we can say so okay how it works let's declare right here for example in that also we can just say first method of declaring an associative array dollar okay i'm just writing here salaries and that equals to array inside this array we are now writing the name with an arrow mark right it's a meaning something for a Muhammad. don't mind if anyone is there i'm just giving an example the name Muhammad 2000 salary whereas Qadir. And if you observe here, key and its value pairing concept, it's called. Then, whereas Zara. So, likewise, you can have group of items and all the items. You can also make it a single line, but to make it an easy understanding, we have given separate line. And we have three items. And keys are Muhammad, Qadir, and Zara. And its corresponding or respective values are 2000, 1000, and 500. So now you can easily write here salary of Muhammad. How to access? That variable which is salaries of inside this, you need to specify as a string. So you can just go with the single quotes because you have given here. You have given here double quotes. So inside this, a salaries of wire bracket, single quotes make it the name which we have planned so it's saying that uh unexpected string contained expecting or something else at line number 48 right it's giving an error First, uh, M O H A M M E D. Okay, that's correct only. But it's not accepting. It's not. It's not. Uh, the single quotes is actually the important point here. Yes, it's important that you know. When you just go with the single quotes, it is treating something just a normal characters as a value. It is not treating as a key. So, what we will do here is we'll just come out of the double quotes and start with concatenation symbol, which is dot. And again, at the end, we'll just go with the here. Whereas here, inside this, let's <coughs> write the things. So, you need to specify the variable name of its key in a double quotes that is mandatory. If you just go with the single quotes, that will not accept. Right now, 
you can see salary of Muhammad, which is 2000. Right, compared to previous, it's just 0, 1, 2, 3, without any meaning. It's now having something meaning, right? What we are doing here. So, in the same way, salary of Wadir, salary of Zara. Let's write. Okay. Okay, now the question is, yes, you can able to write individually like this, but can you able to write at a time? I mean, like as Nabo for each, can we write? Of course, can we write? It's not a, we are writing. Is it possible to have working with the for each or for loop? Obviously, for loop will not at all work because for loop is just working with a condition based here. The number of items and it's just checking with the 0, 1, 2, 3, the number of and counting. Here we can have a count, we can have a count of salaries. It will give three items or two items or 10, whatever it is. But you can't have an option to write a loop concept which is a for with i equal 0, i less than something like this because it's an associative, it is given with a string concept. The keys are given with the stream. Can't make it continuous action, a series of action, right? A sequence of XPT. So, okay, that is one way. I mean, like number 42, a variable name that equals to array of with a key and its value and arrow mark. You need to write. The second way, that is always another way. You can declare yes. I am just writing here the variable name style of here itself. Same like above how we have that is individual. Okay. That is, it's your choice. An associative array can have any value, right? But only thing is, instead of placing the integers like 0, 1, 2, something like this, you are placing the keys as a string format for easy understanding and as well for easy representation. Then, in the same way, let's even write Style of is something medium and then cell of low. So again, just give up. Let's write here that variable name, sal. Right. Then, now let's come with the concept of, which is multi-dimensional array concept. So, okay, let's, so it won't be possible as it is a concept of a key is totally differing from one key to another key, right? 
you can also have okay let me just make it understanding uh, like you can say um, users and that equals to array of inside this you can also make it an id something value you can also make it the name something value you can also make it something password likewise you can also make it okay you can also have a rating with a group of items also can we write like this let's just try one two three four five something like this so let's just write here rating and how can you write users of users of of course you need to come out let's check it out whether it will work out or Uncaught, it's a fatal error. Uncaught error, undefined constant rating. So, the way that we have planned a rating, the group of items, that is, it is an array. So, can we write like this here? Hmm. Let's check it out. So it won't be possible to have like this in the associative array. Okay. An item, sorry, the key can have a value. But if you want to make it in, that is, in a, this is called in a state array, right? now Or multi-dimensional array. So now we can just come to the point how to make it a multi-dimensional array concept. So let's write here. Multi-dimensional array. What is a multi-dimensional array? A multi-dimensional array, each element in the main array can also have a subset or a nested array. So, what is it? How it works? To make it okay, let me write here for example, marks as usual. We are declaring an array inside this. First, you need to write a key. Yes. To this key, line number 65, the same thing we have planned right now. Right here, array thing. Here you have given directly the values, but you need to make it each value with its key. So I'm just writing physics whereas
right if you observe we have a main array and the first key is muhammad inside this we have a subset of array or nested array with a group of keys so in the same way you can have like this okay let's change Let's have some values. Okay, so this is how that you can have multi dimensional array declaration. Then, how to access? So let's write here accessing all the items or as values or as elements of echo. Let's write here marks of Muhammad in physics that we have planned to find out what are the marks that is physics of a particular person. So you can just write here echo. What is that variable? Marks. Normally we will be writing marks of that particular key first. Apart with this, if you write like this, let's see, it's getting an array because even Muhammad is also having an array statement, a group of items. So you need to extract, that is again write a square bracket of that particular key. Right. Can able to see the marks? Let's do one thing here. Okay. Marks of Muhammad in physics 45. So in the same way, you can also have what is the first array name and its particular, sorry, what is the first in uh, associate you name of a main array variable and its nested associative array name okay so likewise you can just write all the items this is how that you can work with the concept of arrays concept or all the three different things what are those numeric numeric associative and multi-dimension. A multi-dimension array is also a combination with the, what is it? Associate. You can also make it a clear picture of understanding with an associate, a combination of an array. You can also go with the multi-dimensional with the indexing also. So for example, if you want to go with an indexing, let's for example, make it here. Mm, nums, something else, multi, I'm just writing, or something else. nums and that equals to array inside this yes see if you are writing something like this this is just a single but when you have planned with an array with a multi-dimensional right you need to Yes, you can. Just for understanding, I'm writing. And 
associative sorry and multidimensional array that needs to have an asso that's a combination with an associative of course now it is also a single dimension only with the string values but now you can have like this again just to understand i am writing like this you can just have for each and every time all the items so 63 of 0 63 of 1 like this you can just go okay so that's okay now let's move to the next concept which is strings concept what is a string a sequence of characters okay before moving to the concept of strings let's even discuss some built-in functions let me just list out you can just um what do you say search in the google because as it's a built-in functions <coughs> you can just even search in the google and you can just find out so let me write here built-in functions array built-in functions this top built-in functions of course even an array is also one of the built-in function that creates an array whereas array underscore change underscore key underscore case that is it returns an array with all keys changing the array keys either in lower case and upper case that is case sensitive change then array underscore c h u n c k think a piece of data that is we can say splits an array into a chunks of arrays so likewise you can also have array underscore column array underscore combine etc so on so on likewise there are you can just that's why i say you can just uh, search in the google list of array uh, or list of built-in functions array built-in functions in php you can just get the number of examples okay then so okay now <clears throat> now let's move to the concept of strings so we are discussing what is a string means a string is a sequence of characters and how it works let's right So examples that you can write. A variable string underscore one. And you're writing here. This is a string in a double quotes. Then something another variable string underscore two. This is a somewhat longer singly quoted. 
singly, not single coated. Coated string. That is something a lengthy which is singly in a single quotes in a, in a continuous quotes you can say. Then we also have. Disease. Okay. Normal string, and you can also have a combination that if you want to write, like for example, I am a short, and you want to display. A single quotes here. You can also make it simply because as you already opened double quotes, in sense you can just go with single quotes. But it's minimum, it's better to write or recommended to write a backslash. So, likewise, so let's do one thing. Let's write something a variable and that equals to as we have discussed, same example in the very beginning. Then in the same way, literally, and that equals to, if you just go with single quotes, okay, my and referring, and here itself you can understand, it's just showing as a characters, not referring to the variable. Okay, but my variable will not And we have discussed somewhere else with an escaping characters also in the top, sorry, in the very beginning. So you can just write here instead of checking, sorry, instead of writing a break element, you can also do, just go with PHP escaping characters, which is backward slash that creates a new line. So let's write here <coughs> print of dollar, that is the variable which is greater than. Let's see this example, how it is going to be. See, as it is, it's just printed because it's given in a single quotes. When it's given in a single quotes, it is just treated as a, everything as a single character that is a normal characters. But the same thing, okay, let's do one thing. Okay, we'll just check it out with the double quotes. Right, you are able to see the reference of that particular variable when it comes to the double quotes. Then, okay, let's do one thing. Uh, here we have, it's it's already printing the line. Okay, my variable will not print. Okay, will print. Let me, this will print. And what is this? It's just printing the total variable. Okay, after this, it's, Print it just to check it out whether this statement will print in a new line or not. Literally, it's having backward slash n right now. After this, whether it will print in a new line or not, we are just checking that. Of course, backward slash n in a given string is not working. But You just make it here something like this. Of course, there is no meaning of this term. Okay, let's 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 see. 
right? It's given an error message. Okay. So actually it is accepted in the double quotes only, but it's not working. That in this case, it's not working. Uh, but more, where we can use this backward slash or backward slash n, backward slash r, something like this in a regular expressions. We'll see that much. That is in upcoming points, we will be having a concept like as in the JavaScript itself, like how that we have a regular expressions in the same way. PHP also having a regular expressions. That's what you can also check it out both in both cases, in both places, client side validations and server side validations. Okay, that's the later point. So here we got an idea when you just go with a single course, writing or displaying the statement with the variables to just display as it is what we have. But when you go with the double quotes, it's just referring to its, what is it? Value. Okay, so that's one. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, let's, as already we have discussed, I'm just listing out here, the escape characters. What are those escape characters? And you can just, you can also write like this, slash star star and star. So backward slash n, backward slash, R already we have discussed. I'm just giving it. then backward slash T backward slash dollar backward slash yes backward slash T that is digits backward slash W for word whereas two backward slashes displaying a backward slash in the characters backward slash single quotes backward mm -hmm. slash double quotes like this way. You can write multiple things. Okay, there. <laughs> so okay, now let's write here. String. Concatenation. Operator. This is already we have started. So let's declare string one and that equals to hello world then string two and we want to join these two things that is concatenation so okay you can also make it any variable or else Echo string one with a dot symbol concatenation operator and giving a space and string two. And you can also have like this. Okay. Hello world. In including the space also and one, two, three, four. If you don't give space, word print. Okay, it will just try. That is called string concatenation concept. Then finding the length of the characters, the number of characters in the given string. For this, we have a built-in function which is strlen. So I'm just writing here. Echo, and you can see here a number of things string related methods. Among this, we are writing okay, so it will just count the number of characters. Then Working, let me make, let me. If you write HTML code, will it work? I mean, is it going to count? It is given actually 13 characters. Right. Even the HTML characters are also counted as a string characters. Okay. 
then s t r p o yes string position what is that string position as p o c p o s it is used to search for a string or character in a given string so let's see here how to write i mean it is used to find out a particular character or group of characters in a given string if it is matching it will give true if it is not matching it will give false and if it is giving true it will give the position that starting of character okay let's see here we have echo s t r p o s string position First, we need to pass the value, which is, this is the value that we have planned to find out with the given thing. And you have given here something difference. Here, if you observe, whereas in the given string, we have W in uppercase, but whereas we are searching for just F the lowercase, whether it will be finding out or not, in just, run this program, it's not. That's why it's not giving any result. Okay, let's, that is, we got a clarity, it's a case since you is working. The same thing that we are writing now in uppercase, let's check it out. Six, six means that we are getting the position. That means zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? The starting position of that given character or finding out. Okay, that's, there is 20 and uh, here we have given, that's right. Okay, then then so we got an idea how to work with an arrays and as well how to work with a string. Likewise, as I said, we have some uh, what is it built-in functions of array array built-in functions in the same way. String building functions. You can just search in the Google list of page uh, list of string building functions in PHP. Something like this. You can just get some examples. You can just find out. So okay. After these points, now we have to discuss web concepts. This we will discuss in the next session, that is next week's sessions. And the rest of the concepts like functions in advanced level, step by step. Okay. So in this week's sessions, we have just started with the concept of PHP, then working with different data types, displaying the data, and then a part of these things, we have discussed arrays and as well strings concept and some other additional things also. Overall, a data structure related things that we have done successfully. Then the rest of things in middle level and as well advanced level, we plan the next week sessions. Right now? Okay.